Hello, my name is Josh, and I'm Watchaholic. Welcome to Horology Insanity. What is uh, my watch, friends? So, check this out. Today, I want to take a look at more Zelos. This last set now, as we go, I've got a handful of watches, and these are examples of when I talk about the things that are a little bit more rare. These are all kind of the more rare ones. Now, they're not as rare as this custom one of one, but when I show them, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Now, the other thing, though, that you might think I'm a little crazy about, I'm planning on modding a bunch of these really rare ones. In fact, this custom ZX, um, let me do a loom shot real quick. You'll notice that the sub dials and the minute track and the indices, everything looms up, but the day date does not. And so I actually want to go on the hunt for a custom day date wheel for a Valju 7750 that glows with the BGW9 loom like this has. And so I'm curious to see if I can get that to match up. And that way, even when it looms over here on the right, those little dates, I think I want a loomed background with the black text. That way it'll match kind of the overall aesthetic of these. So yeah, I don't know. What do y'all think of that? Do you know somebody who makes those? If so, please let me know. Email me. My email is always in the description of every video or try them off down in the comments because I'll be looking at that and talking back with y'all. But with these, let's talk about what I have and what I plan to mod. And so starting off, this is the original OG Forged Carbon, and I'm not planning to mod this one. This is the stainless steel variant. It does have the black bezel. This is the first Zelos where Elshin offered the Forged Carbon dial. Now we see it in a bunch of different options. It was in the Sky Raider 2. He's done the Titanium, which I have over here. I'll show you that one in a second. But this is where it all started with the forged, um, yeah, forged carbon. And, and, and I paired it with this mustard yellow strap that I harvested off of a Nixon watch that I had. But yeah, that is absolutely stunning with the shades of kind of yellowish and the texture that whips through that. It looks like the dial's moving, which I think is fantastic. Let me get that here. This is the other one that I was referring to. This is the forged carbon titanium option. So it's full titanium, titanium bracelet. It does come with the new clasp, which I like a lot. And this one you'll notice when I hold these up side by side, the one on the left in titanium also has a forged carbon bezel insert, which is pretty cool. So I mentioned in my last video about how the B3 meteorite Mako is the one that kind of started Elshin off with doing a bunch of different bezel inserts. And now you can see that he's got meteorite uh, bezels. He did a Timascus bezel. We're going to see that in a second. And we've got the forged carbon bezel. And I dig these. In fact, of the two, if I only keep one, and I probably need a pair down and just keep one of these, I plan to keep the titanium. But I also think that's just because I love titanium. I, I've thought many times about selling all of my watches except for titanium and just having a titanium collection. So this one will probably stay. The OG, though, I've got sentimental value to it. And so, well, no, it's not real sentimental value. It's like made up sentimental value because I don't really want to sell any of my watches. Do y'all, do y'all have that too? Is that normal? I don't know. So let me keep going and let's get into keeping on the titanium ones for a second. Here we go. This is the titanium. Uh, it's, it's the same series as this forged carbon right here. Um, on the right, but on the left, we've got the meteorite version. And so this is the meteorite dial. It does have the meteorite bezel. And you'll see here that these are also very similar in kind of overall style and aesthetics, but I have a mod project plan for this one on the left. So the one on the right is going to remain unchanged, but this meteorite is going to get modded. And here's what I'm planning to mod with it. This is another 42 millimeter titanium Zelo swordfish. This one has the blue meteorite dial and the Timascus bezel. So some people refer to this as the Timascus light. And in a second, you'll see why, because I'm going to show you the real Timascus. And so this is kind of the light version of that. But Elshin got these and he originally was going to do the blue meteorite with the dial 
and a blue beanie right bezel insert. Once he received them, it turns out that he didn't love the look of the blue meteorite, specifically of the bezels. So he ended up releasing 10 of these watches that have the blue meteorite bezel. He then released another 100 or so that have this beautiful blue Timascus, it's titanium Damascus bezel inserts. And as I play that in the light, you can just see how that lights up and shimmers and shines on that bezel which is pretty cool. And so it's a good effect. But what I'm gonna do, and I'm not the first one to do this, mind you, in the Zelos Timekeepers group, there are a couple people who have done it, but I'm going to swap the modules and the dials on this. You could also just swap the bezels if you wanted to, but I'm gonna swap these out. What that will result in is me having a gray meteorite dial with the blue Timascus bezel and it'll give me the blue meteorite dial with a gray meteorite bezel. And I think those contrasts are going to look good. All the pictures I've seen of them, they do look good. Elshin had one variant like that available for sale during the last flash uh, sale that he did, but I wasn't quick enough to be able to get it. I tried, and, and by the time I was checking out, it emptied out of my cart because somebody else beat me to it. But I went the second best route because I already had one of these. I already had one of these. So then I found one of these and now I'm going to mod them. So yeah, backup options, but these are going to be fun. Is it weird to mod kind of really rare watches like that? I don't think so, but, but I'm curious to see if other people's do. I know people, when I talked about modding this custom ZX, some people were like, no, don't do it. I don't know. I think it's going to be awesome. So let's keep it going. Okay, let me look at this one. So when we talk about Timascus, there are two options. There's a blue Timascus, which is kind of like the bezel and shirt that I just showed you. And then there's yellow Timascus, like this right here. Now this, uh, Elshin made the yellow Timascus with both a meteorite dial option and I think a black sand option. This is the meteorite and you'll see it's got the black crown, which I really like on it. And I'll talk about that in a second, why I like that. But you can see this, the striations of the titanium Damascus. This is heat treated just to the point to where it'll turn yellow. I can't remember which one. One of them's high heat, one of them's low heat. I think this is low heat, the blue is high heat, but don't quote me on that. But yeah, it's beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. This is on loan from a buddy of mine. And um, oh, it's the same buddy who has that space uh, coral carbon that he lent me. And so he too, I guess, loves some Zelos, loves some rare watches, but he let me borrow these. And so what we're gonna do is he's letting me borrow this first, and then I'm gonna send him a box of watches with a bunch of Time Ascus ones in it so that he can see the blue one and uh, everything else. So that's kind of the way that we're gonna go back and forth with this. But. This watch right here is pretty sweet and pretty rare and pretty highly desired. Um, so I really appreciate that my buddy let me borrow it so I could film it. And one of the reasons I wanted to film it was because I have this Makumegane swordfish. That was one of the original ones that Elshin did. I want to say this is one of 10. Now, what's interesting is the new ones have the Seiko movements in it. This one actually has the ETA movement in it. And yeah, you can see right there, this is number three of 10. So there were only 10 of these made of the Makumegane case. And this one I got from my buddy in Singapore and he had it modified so that the dial, it's a black sand dial, but it's modified in the art style of Kintsugi. And I may not be pronouncing that correctly, but the art of Kintsugi, I've got a whole video about it. We'll post it or link to it up in the upper right hand corner. If you want to see more about this watch, but this is again, one of the super rare ones and I really, really enjoy it. Now, this one is interesting because my buddy modded it before he sold it to me. And then I've thought about modding it some more. One of the things that I wanna do is, you can see that there is a subtle difference between these, and I'm gonna do a video just on these uh, really rare Zelo, so check back on that. But you can see that the, the coloring is a little different between the Makumegani and the yellow Timascus. 
But one of the things that I really like about the yellow Timascus is this um, uh, black um, crown. Sorry, my mind is blanking on me. I'm getting tired and I haven't eaten in a while. So um, it's way past dinner time, but I'm trying to film late. So the black crown, I like that on this. And I've been trying to get a black crown, but I can't. Nelson doesn't have any spares right now. So this is the original crown. It did come with kind of a silver-esque one. But what I'm going to do is I've got a whole nother spare ETA movement one over here i'm gonna harvest this crown i got this watch solely so that i can harvest the crown on it i'm gonna harvest this crown and i'm gonna put it in this maki megane so that way it'll have kind of the bronze look that i think will match the case a little bit better and then another option that i thought about doing was maybe doing like a pvd coat making my own black one and so i don't know where i would harvest that from but yeah, so you can see all the different options here, but that's what I'm trying to do with some of these and some of the mods that I want to do. And then this one, yeah, at that rate, it's just kind of a spare. It's, you know, the blue spare at a movement too in it in case I would ever need it or need parts from it. But last, but certainly not least, probably my favorite swordfish. So I talked about the bronze being a favorite. I talked about the titanium forge carbon being a favorite i'm really looking forward to doing the mod project on the meteorite with the blue timascus but this one right here if i had to get rid of them all and only keep one this would probably be it this is the blue timascus with the meteorite dial now you can see here it's got the black crown again i really like the black crown on these but this one here is the other variant kind of like this yellow and so i don't have any with the black sand dial i think my buddy dane got a black sand one so check out his channel he probably has a video of it so here's the blue and the yellow timascus side by side again i'm gonna do a whole nother video on these but let me know what y'all think of these oh you know what i forgot to talk about one hold on let's do a quick backup i got it mixed up i got another swordfish sitting over here <laughs> Look, that's how crazy this hobby. I got watches all over the place, right? All over the place. Bookshelves full of watches. Not even kidding. But I've got this one. So this is another ETA movement, Swordfish. So Because when you go to mod these, you got to get the same one. So I had to like get a bunch of ones with the Etta movement, which as you all know, they're a little bit more rare. They're a little bit more expensive, whatever. But this one, yeah, has another uh, bronze crown. But I got this one because I wanted the dial. Let's zoom in on that. This is a very dark gray almost black meteorite dial and so what i want to do with this is i actually kind of want to mod the maki megane in so in addition to putting in the other crown i want to take this kintsugi dial and put it in a standard bronze case and then i want to take the meteorite dial out of this one and put it in the maki megane and so that way I can kind of enjoy them both, but I'd have a little artistic flair in both because this it's, it's like a double whammy of artistic flair, right? You got the dial and you got the case. And so I want to swap that out a little bit. I think the meteorite will still give it a good texture, um, but it'll tone it down just a hair compared to that Kintsugi dial. But I think that that dial, the modded dial right here will look great in this standard bronze case. And so, yeah, that's what I want to do. So I've got mod projects on all of these. Let me set these right here, this right here. And then, like I said, oh, that's the yellow one. See, I've got too many. Here we go. The blue one, this this one. Yeah, this one is probably my favorite. I wish these came with the Etta movement. I think that's the only downside that people were talking about. You know, you get a watch that's this expensive with a Seiko movement in it. And you're kind of like, eh, eh. Yeah, maybe I surely wouldn't pay this for a Seiko. That's for sure. So, but when you get it in something rare like this with the Timascus and the, and the meteorite and before you know it, yeah, you got a handful of them sitting in front of you. So anyway, this video has gone on way too long, but I hope that you've enjoyed this series. Um, I hope that you've been following along. I hope that you appreciate it. Let me know if you want to do, or if you want me to do more state of the collection videos, if you do, I can, I've got, I don't know, a bunch of other 
<laughs> I got a bunch of other ones that I can do. I can't do, I can't do even, I can't even do one whole series of State of the Collection. Cause again, I got, I, we'd be here for months, y'all. We'd be here for months. I got like over 400 watches. So I need to space it out, but I can do it by brand. I can piece it out. And then even when it's a brand that I have a lot of like Zelos, I can break it down into a, a, a more palatable series with three videos or two videos, four videos, kind of like I did this one. But yeah, let me know down in the comments. What do you think? What do you want to see? Let me know if there's anything I didn't cover, put it down in the comment section and I'll try to reply to you and talk to you down there. And last, let me just say again, a huge thanks to everyone that is following along with the channel. I really do hope y'all enjoyed this series. There's more to come in the future. And please remember that a theme of this channel is generosity. I want to be a cheerful giver. The next giveaway will be when I hit a thousand subs. And here's the spoiler alert. It'll be a Zelos. Now, I think I finally narrowed down what Zelos it's going to be. And so keep an eye out because I will have a video coming soon about that watch and the giveaway that I'm going to do when I hit a thousand subs. But you can help me get there. Share these videos, help, you know, recommend them to your friends, things like that. Help me get to a thousand and I'll be giving away that Zelos. Until we talk again, my friends, please remember what really matters and that that's not watches. Keep the insanity sane.